Hello, YouTubers out there. YouTube Christ Spiritual Land. God bless you. A Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2012 for y'all. <clears throat> new prophecy tonight. New prophetic word. New prophecy from straight from the throne room of God. God has been showing me this last three years. A lot of puckless dreams. Uh, Homeland Security will use the U.S. military to hunt the Christians down for the mark of the beast. And I've had several dreams that were run, on the run out in the wilderness and not taking the mark of the beast. But tonight, I'm going to back it with the Holy Bible Scripture. What's going to happen in 2012? The FEMA camps are being set up for the Christians. This is uh, the prophecy for Christian is the prophecy is for FEMA camp set up for Christian. That is a prophecy tonight. This is uh, December the 22nd, 2011, the first day of winter. It's going to be a long, cold winter. It could be bad here. We could get a lot, a lot of ice or snow over the world. Could be a lot of north winds blowing or howling, you know. And in the dead of winter, Jesus is still on the throne. We still feel his warmth. It might be cold outside, but the warmth of Jesus Christ in our heart and the inside. Jesus loves us so much. But starting in 2012, they are setting up uh, FEMA camps to put Christians in. Uh, first, they'll get the uh, Wall Street occupiers in Chicago, New York, to get them first in there. You might see this happen in the next six months. But when uh, June 2012, they'll be knocking at the preacher's doors over the United States of America. And they'll tell the preachers, if you preach anything about the government, we find out about, we're going to give you a warning first to take your tax exempt status away from you. And the second time we come and get you, you're going to go to the FEMA camps. And we're going to see a terrible tragedy. It's like Hitler killed 6 million Jews in Europe, World War II, Antichrist, Obama and World War III will round up. 6 million Christians will die for the gospel's sake, for the Holy Bible, for Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lord, the Savior and Messiah of the world. You'll see this happen in the next uh, four years. So tonight I got the Holy Bible Scripture to back this up. This got to be backed up by the Word of God, His Holy Bible, line on line, precept on precept, Scripture on Scripture. This is a Bible prophecy here in Revelation in chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. These will be the Christians that will be killed here. Just not in the USA we will have trouble going on, but all over the world. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And the white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. You know, there's been martyrs in the world since the beginning. There'll be martyrs till the world till the end. With this mark of the beast, what's going to happen in the United States of America? And Christians praying fast. Energy, standing in the gap. In the last three years, I've been praying and fasting, me and Betty, and standing in the gap for the Christians because we feel the travail, we feel the birthing, we know something's going to happen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus is going to shake the nation. These are the last days, perilous times. This is the hand of the Lord it's for His glory, for His holiness, for His power, for His love, for His compassion, for His mercy, for His amazing grace. So, that is the word of the Lord. Christian, prepare yourself. The battle is intensifying. It's getting greater and greater every day for the glory of God. And remember, me and Betty Cully here on YouTube, on the old beloved YouTube channel here, and we'll be praying for you. You pray for me and Betty, least the Brother Ministries in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And I thank Jesus for you all. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. And this is the most important part of the video here. And I thank YouTube for putting it all over the world, to North America and South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. But this is your time to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Before really the hard times come, 
You've not seen nothing yet. It's coming on the horizon in a new year, a new beginning, a new destiny. 2012 is going to be a rough year for the Christians. But the world's going to be even worse. They'll go in hell in a handbasket. That's Christians. That's rain that will walk on victory in Jesus to bow to the Lord. But there ain't nobody that can, even if they take our life, they can't kill our soul like Jesus said. Worry about the one that will get your soul, not to kill the body. And I want you to pray this prayer with me t tonight. This is very special. And we're only about... Uh, couple of days away from Christmas, and you'll make me real happy. If Jesus Christ, you say this prayer with me, will save your soul tonight. This is my present I give to you, the greatest present of mankind, that God give mankind. Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lords, the Messiah, or oh, the Savior of the world. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, it's been 2,000 years ago since your birth. And Lord you still reign, your power, your, your presence, your anointing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. Jesus will forgive us for our sin. When you were a little baby, King Herod tried two years to kill you, Jesus. And now here with the FEMA camps, with the Homeland Security, again, the U.S. military trying to track the Christians down for the next couple years, it's going to be a rough and rocky and a hard road, but God, you'll hold our hand and you'll help us. You'll take us in the promised land, Lord. You'll get us out of the valley shadow of death and dry and thirsty land, the desert land. you take us in your spiritual oasis, God, and lead us into the uh, land of milk and honey. Oh, God, we know you're returning soon. But today, Lord, save some souls out there, poor uh, Jesus. I pray some poor people out there don't know you as a personal Savior. So some lost sinners out there, oh, God, get your hook in their jaw. This is a time. Soften their heart. Don't let their hearts be hardened or have stiff neck or retrobate mind. Oh, Lord Jesus, say this prayer with me. Jesus, go save your soul when you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiving me for my sins. Lord Jesus, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You said that prayer. Amen, amen. This is your greatest Christmas present you ever received in the whole world, Jesus Christ. Just come in your heart. He is priceless. You are worth millions and billions and trillions because Jesus Christ lives in your heart. Me and Betty love you tonight. Shalom. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is on the throne. Heaven is thrown and earth is filled to. He's returning soon. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. We rejoice at your birth 2,000 years ago. We're still rejoicing today, Lord. Forevermore, someday we'll be up there in heaven with you, Jesus. And God, what a day that will be. Oh, Lord Jesus, we'll rejoice forever and ever. 10,000 years, we'll sing your praises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence, your anointing. God touching this video. And people got saved today. Hundreds and thousands and millions for your glory. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus.